Is your light blinking red on your residential gateway? Let's ask some basic questions. Do you have the right proper SFP? Are you red or are you green? This will make a difference. Green does up to 1,000. Red does up to 5,000. Are you plugged in properly? Were you plugged in properly? Is this a self-install? Do you have an ONT mounted in the garage? Easy questions. Let's ask this basic question. Let's say you were working and all of a sudden you now have a red light. What all happened? I see a lot of this. Uh, dear at and yeah, my internet is not working. Okay, well, let's reset it. First off, don't press that red button. It's not going to do crap at all. All right? The basic questions they should ask are, did anyone cut the wire? I don't know. Well, is there a telephone pole in your backyard? Yes. Okay. We just had a huge storm. Well, that would probably be the reason why. Let's go ahead and put a ticket in that we can get a technician. Let's say no, no huge storms. Telephone pole in your backyard. All right. What happened? Hey, can you physically go and see if there is a line from your home to the pole? Yes, it's still there. All right, cool. So the outside issues are gone. Now it's going to be an inside issue. Has anyone been inside your attic? Basic questions. It's about to be fall or summer. You're going to have someone look at your, your attic uh, AC unit for heating and air conditioning. It stopped working after I had someone in there. All right, cool. Someone clipped the wire, tripped on it. Nothing that's happened. All right, this is a new home. We had ADT out, all right? Alarm system broke it. Let's say none of those have happened. We're gonna go basic inside stuff. Is your AT&T jack connected? You're gonna say, oh, I was uh, vacuuming the floor and this little wire came out. Oh, well, without looking into the wire because it's a live laser, see if you can plug it back in. Hey, I plugged it back in. I have a white blinking light. All right, cool. You're back in business. Have a good day. Obviously, there's no power, no connection out of this because I have it just wired up. If that didn't work out and you've made sure that everything is right, they're going to have to send you out a technician. There's no other way around it. Now, if it did connect and it's good, well, no reason. Everything is fine. AT&T support is great. Man, they need a lot of practice. So, just your basic questions. And here's something else. I've seen this before. Internet was working fine. I had someone try to put it in a French drain in my front yard. Okay, cool. Then your guy probably cut that cable. That cable isn't very more than six inches. All right, done. Or I have no telephone poles in my backyard. I know the technician had to go two houses over, and there is a pool like a swimming pool uh, tag outside a neighbor's house. Well, those guys probably cut your cable and didn't call 811. If you go outside and you see this, you peek over the backyard and there's no orange cables, no orange flags, they didn't call 811 and they cut your cable. Got to call 800 2020 Anyways, guys, that's just a quick, easy troubleshoot on how to get this running. If none of those things have happened and you actually powered this, yank this cable out or power this off, just plug it back in. Super simple. You guys have a good day.